can't believe this happened. I was this close to making Miguel mine. No, you weren't. Well, I would have been if my long-lost cousin hadn't come skipping into Harmony. Well, it's obvious he's totally nuts about her, so you might as well give up all your crazy schemes to get him. I can't think of anything else now. At last, you finally come to your senses. No, I said I can't think of anything else now. But give me some time. I'll think of something. Okay, how can you actually believe you can still get Miguel? Why not? Have you seen the way he looked at Charity? He's never looked at you like that. Well, he would if you hadn't burst in and interrupted me the night I snuck into his room. I was so close to sharing a night of ecstasy with Miguel. You were so close to being caught in your undie. Lingerie. Lingerie, whatever. Miguel's brother almost caught you. Did Miguel ever figure out why you were really in his bedroom? No, he just woke up when you burst in and ruined everything. <sighs> he should be with me now, not Charity. I need him more than her. Okay, how can you be so cold? Charity's your cousin, and now she's an orphan. Her mother, your aunt, was killed in that fire, and Charity would have died too if Miguel hadn't rescued her. If only. I I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Look, I, I feel bad for Charity, and I feel bad that my mom lost her sister. But, hey, life goes on. And I plan to spend my life with Miguel. He wants to be with Charity. She's all wrong for him. Miguel needs a woman with passion and fire. Charity's so goody-goody, so sickeningly sweet. She doesn't belong with a man like Miguel. You're very weird. You know that, Kay? Who else would think of selling her own cousin to a sweatshop? It's just a thought. Are you really that desperate to get Miguel? Desperate? No. Determined? Very determined. There's Miguel. And your parents. Come on, let's find out how Charity's doing. Like I care. You should. She's your cousin. That's right. Charity doesn't remember Miguel. I still have a chance with him. <laughs> and I'll just bet you'll make the most of it. Oh, yes. I'm going to show Miguel what love from a real woman is like. By the time I'm through with him, Miguel's going to be going with memory loss. He's not going to remember a thing about Charity. Okay, where are your parents? Oh, they went to go make a phone call about Charity's mom. Do you think she's still alive, Mom? Honestly, sweetheart, I don't know how she could have survived that fire. Charity's going to be devastated. Well, we'll all have to be very strong for her. Is Charity going to be all right, Dr. Russell? Yes. She inhaled some smoke and, and there's a memory loss. I'm sure that's only temporary. Can I go in and see her now? Yes, but don't wake her up. She needs a rest. And get back to work. Yes! Yes! Charity's lost her memory. How'd you come up with that? Didn't you hear when Miguel said that the memory loss was only temporary? Your mom didn't think so. She didn't say that. Right, and she's a doctor, so that's a bad sign. Well, not for me. You are really turning into a ghoul. Well, if I am, I'm one happy ghoul. Miguel is gonna be mine. Charity can get her memory back any day. Or she could have amnesia for the next 20 years like my mom. Miguel and I could have kids in college by that time. Yes! 